Let's just artifacts of Mars. And here we have another example of political correctness police going for your outfits. In this case, somebody put up an ad on Amazon for a sexy burka party outfit. And of course the ever offended the Muslims started uh, complaining about it. Online retail giant Amazon was forced to remove a skimpy low cut black dress complete with veil advertised on its website as Lady Sexy Burka Islamic costume after scores of infuriated users were labeled it racist and disgusted. Actually, I think it's more uh, liberals going off on this than uh, Muslims. I don't know. Online shoppers surfing Amazon's UK website for new ideas for upcoming Halloween dress up parties stumble upon the garment on Thursday. The mini dress plate priced at Eighteen point nine nine pounds, which is about twenty three bucks. It's apparently a take on a conservative Arab women's swimwear, stuff that barely covers anything but the face. With a night night jab, leaving only the eyes visible. Whatever that means. Well, that, that's that veil or whatever going across her face. If I'm making fine, offended users black the items page to vent outrage, crying, accusing seller of cultural appropriation, which doesn't exist, racism, and disparaging the Islamic religion. Is this some sort of mockery to the religion one of the users asked? Well, another said it's not a joke. Wherever you are, fear Allah, users added. You are all disgusting racist, my culture is not your costume. Another offended person wrote in the feedback section, person's culture is not a fancy dress costume, yet another angry shopper said. Amazon UK deleted the offending, the offensive burger costume Following the uproar, announcing that the product is no longer available, the company issued a, a statement to follow selling guidelines and threatening violators of punitive action, including potential removal of their account. Oh boy. What is this world coming to? Uh, however, while the online store removed the female version of Arab-themed Halloween attire, did not withdraw the male one, which is advertised by a model whose face was apparently painted brown to complete the look. Long sleeve tunic with head scarf is still available on the website, enjoying generally favorable customer reviews with few exceptions. This is ridiculous. Dressing up like other cultures for the legit purpose of having fun is not okay. Screw you. Especially when in a lot of cases people who buy and wear costumes like this do it solely as a way to make fun of the culture, not as a form of appreciation. Uh, K wrote in his one star review. Stop cultural appropriation, he continued. Screw you. This is not the first time Halloween costumes have come to the center of heated disputes as the celebration is near. Last year, U.S. retail giant Walmart sparked outrage by selling Israeli soldiers uniforms for kids and a fake Arab sheet nose. Why don't you people fucking grow up and start acting like real human beings? I'm not speaking specifically of Muslims. By saying that, I could be speaking of the liberals. Start growing up. Just grow up. I mean, 
businesses of yours. I don't give a shit if you're offended. You can go piss off a rope as far as I'm concerned. I do not care if you're offended. If you're offended, then you have mental issues. If you're offended by something like this, then you have mental issues. Unless you're complaining about the fact that it's not exactly a modest garment, but in our culture, what do you expect? If you're offended like this, then go see a doctor, a head shrinker, as we call them. See a psychiatrist and get over your being offended. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. People are pissing and moaning over this and that. People worn, you know, Indian costumes, cowboy costumes, this costume and that costume for ages. Who the hell do you people think you are? T trying to tell people what they can and cannot wear. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message.